I've been drawing every day for four years now, so let's judge some celebrity drawings. We're gonna look at drawings from Kendall Jenner, Tom Holland, Zendaya, Billie Eilish, and more, and expose the truth. Is there someone out there hiding a secret talent? Let's find out. So first up, all right, interesting choice to go with the bright neon yellow. So far, okay, I'm not gonna lie, this kind of looks like something I drew in grade two, just being honest. You can't tell me they don't look the same. Though I will say her eyes are pretty symmetrical, so I'll give her that. And now she's doing the eye, whoa, okay. Uh, the eyelashes being longer than her eyes really reminds me of that 2010 phase where every girl had those spider lashes. Wow. Yeah, it is very wow indeed. Um, okay, so purely by vibes, I'm sorry, but it's giving me horse girl death stare. So I'm gonna say two out of 10, but in in terms of objective physical likeliness, not bad. Five out of ten. Son Jacob's eyes, nose. All right, so Tom Holland tried drawing his co-star. Here, let's do a side-by-side. -side. Okay, you know, the longer I look at it, the better it gets. Like, I could see a caricature artist in France whip this up. And again, these celebrities seem to be really good at drawing symmetrical eyes, so good for them. But also, I have no idea what this is. I'm sorry, I'm truly lost. So if I'm writing him by vibes, he seemed very unsure. You know, you gotta be sure and proud of your drawing, Mr. Holland. When you're presenting it especially, you want to make sure there's no hesitation, no doubt. So because of that, I'm giving you a 4 out of 10. That's a little harsh, but it's okay, because he can judge that terrible British accent I just did. But in terms of objective physical likeliness, maybe like a 4.5 out of 10, because we only got the eyes and nose to work with. So on the podium so far, Tom Holland beat out Kendall Jenner for first first place. Will our next contestant beat out the current reigning champions? Also, this is me trying to get my mom's validation and attention and her just totally ignoring me. Now, we got a two and one because Zendaya drew Tom in the same video, but before we judge her masterpiece, you're probably thinking, look at Viora thinking she's all that, judging people's art. Okay, well here, you can judge me, all right? More specifically, you can judge my culinary skills, okay? So a few months ago, I tried to make croissants, all right? I thought they would come out looking like a perfect Parisian croissant, but I baked up this instead. Here, I even tried to make hot dog buns after. Yes, you can Laugh. But listen, like drawing, baking is an art that can be practiced and learned. And because I genuinely want to learn how to make the perfect croissant, I've been on my baking and croissant grind by following along one of Skillshare's baking learning paths. And if you don't know already, Skillshare is the largest online learning community filled with thousands of online classes, including illustration, editing, baking, painting, music, and so much more, all taught by industry pros. So if you're like me and want to invest in your goals and passions this year, because heck yeah, I legit want to make a stunning, flaky croissant, you can also start your learning journey with Skillshare, which is now streamlined as as ever with learning paths, which are hand-picked beginner to advanced classes that are specifically curated to build upon and reinforce each lesson. So for example, if you'd like to get into drawing like me, there is a learning path called Discover the Art and Science of Drawing, which introduces you to art essentials like perspective, proportions, or shadows. And I really like my bake delicious beginner-friendly desserts learning path because since they're taught by different chefs and bakers, I feel like I'm learning from multiple different experiences, which just makes the whole process so much cooler. So thank you Skillshare for kindly sponsoring this video. If you want to join this community as well, the first 500 people to use my link in the description will receive a month free trial of Skillshare. So definitely give it a go. Check out Skillshare in the description because these spots go fast. And don't worry, I will definitely keep you up to date on my croissant chronicles. And let's get on to Zendaya's art. <laughs> kind of captures you a little bit. Like what the? Okay, I know she's known to be like a fashion icon, but maybe we should just make her a drawing icon too, because this is legit. What the? Yeah, that was my exact reaction too. I mean, it does look like you, and I haven't even finished your face yet. Yeah, I love the confidence. She knows this is good, so because of that, I'm going to give the vibe 7.65 out of 10. And on objective physical likeliness, I'm going to have to deduct some points because she didn't get the main facial features, so 8.2 out of 10. And back to the podium, I think it's pretty safe to say that. Zendaya secured gold, but can our next contestant, Billie Eilish, steal the number one spot away? Right, Billie Eilish talks her love for anime while drawing herself portrait. Love it, love anime too. I think we'd be great friends, Billie. Okay, she's kind of taking real long to do this one line. Let's skip ahead a little bit. Okay, she's still doing this line. This must be a very important line. A lot of my drawings actually come from my dreams because I have crazy dreams. If all my drawings looked like my dreams, this is what all my drawings would be. But I also have synesthesia. So I have a sound and a number and a temperature for everything. Synesthesia, okay, that's kind of cool. No one asked, but I thought I had synesthesia too because sometimes when I eat food, I'm like, whoa, this tastes like a newly renovated building or like, whoa, this fish tastes like Ikea. And I was so sold on the idea. I was like, I have synesthesia. And my sister's just like, no, you you just have issues. So I guess we'll never know. So far, her portrait does not look very human, which is slightly unorthodox, yet very on brand. So I respect this artistic choice. Holy, that was a round circle. I need to replay that because that was insane. 
and she did two of them. I feel like I owe most of it to Spirited Away and like Miyazaki. Yeah. Spirited Away is my lifeline. Let me just quickly show you these. Yep. Also, real quick, if you're wondering, I use Procreate to draw. This is the brush that I use for literally everything you already know. Oh, okay. Purely skill-wise right now, this is giving like creepy Tim Burton, which is sick. This is what I think of myself looking like on the inside. Conception-wise, gotta give her some points because I thought it was gonna be like an actual physical portrait, but she's going kind of like metaphysical. Nice, calm confident strokes again love it you can't you can't take drawing seriously <laughs> Also, can we compare how she's coloring now to the beginning? Like, in the beginning, she was very careful, taking her time, and then now she's just, like, going for it. I look like a joke because you said self-portrait, but this is how I think of myself. You know, in some way, I can relate to this because this is exactly how I look like on my day three hair. I'm Billie Eilish, and this is my self-portrait. Overall, honestly, pretty cool and super on brand. So purely by vibes, I would say 7.5 out of 10. But in terms of objective physical likeliness, I'm going to have to give her a 0 out of 10. And back to our podium, after crunching some numbers billy eilish beat out candle for a third place however can our next contestant secure a spot on the podium all right great start it's just already super bad truly this is me every time i start a new drawing they just never start out good <laughs> Wow, okay, so the tongue is somehow also the lip. That's intense. And I like how she wasn't rushing or like has a really strict time limit, but just opted not to do the eyebrows or eyeballs. Okay, so vibes, honestly, I'm kind of underwhelmed. She's not really giving me anything, so three out of 10. And based on objective physical likeliness, probably worse, honestly, like maybe two out of 10, I'm sorry. So if we're looking at the podium, she unfortunately did not place. In fact, I think she's last. And before we go on to judge our last contestant, we're going to do a speed round where contestants are drawing without looking. And because of that, I'm not going to include them in the final podium ceremony. That being said, we're just going to give them a letter grade instead and just judge their art real quick for fun. So Taylor Swift is drawing Jimmy Fallon without looking. And you know, without looking, this is pretty good. Again, eyes, why are they so symmetrical? And she's got the smile down, so not bad. B minus. So this is supposed to be a cow. My first thought that it kind of looks like a troll or something trying to drink water from a pond. I'm gonna give it a C. So she's trying to draw a snake and honestly, it's pretty dang cute. Love the tongue and good head to body ratio. A. So he's trying to draw Aquafina and this being on cake is pretty impressive. I think it's a very solid attempt. I'll give it a B. Okay, I had to include Aquafina because since starting my YouTube channel and even TikTok, the most frequent comment I get is you sound like Aquafina. And I have never in my life thought that until I saw these comments. Also, shout out to your mom because this was the first ever comment. Anyway, so she tried to draw Jack Black and honestly, this is probably the worst thing drawn in the entire video, truth be told. It's especially funny how proud she looks because I'm gonna give this an F. Wait, I should try and deliver this in my Aquafina impression. Okay, ready? <clears throat> Yeah, I don't know. This is just not good for me. I just, it's like an F for me. I'm sorry. <laughs> that was so bad. Okay, speed round down. Let's go on to our final official contestant. So we got my colleague here. Get it? Because we're both YouTubers, kind of. Right off the bat, gotta give props to Miss Emma Chamberlain because she went in with watercolors. And man, let me tell you, watercoloring is hard. I literally salute and respect all watercolor people out there because I do not have the skills in me right now to do it. Okay, I'm loving the vibes. Okay, do you see how smooth she's working that brush? It's great. Love the confident strokes. Also, the red is a nice and bold choice. The eyebrow to nose shape, I also quite like. Very modern. Wait, why is she crumpling it up? Oh, okay. It looked better upside down. But you know, mouth aside, because it kind of looks like a new i'm digging the eyes and nose it's a cool vibe maybe i'll try to draw my water cup so we're gonna judge that instead oh dang okay the shape is like a 10 out of 10 that's really good again the watercolors i gotta give props oh and she added a fish i'm painting a fish in the wine glass I love this. The watercolors, the chill vibe, the cute fish, the accuracy, it's pretty spot on. So if I'm judging her vibes, I'm gonna give it a 10 out of 10. Like she seemed to enjoy the process. She's proud of her work. And looking at this makes me feel calm, unlike... And judging on objective physical likeliness, she added a few extra touches, but overall, like an 8.5 out of 10. And what do you know, ladies and gentlemen, we got ourselves the gold medal artist, Miss Emma Chamberlain. Round of applause for all our podium winners. And uh, since every contestant is definitely watching this video, Emma, Zendaya, and Tom, feel free to DM me on Instagram at Viora. I'll send you your beautiful prize, which is a free custom portrait drawn by yours truly. Woohoo! 
All right, and here is our final lineup. Let me know who was your favorite or who was your least favorite because I'm genuinely curious. All right, bye.